College tuition is once again on the rise in Wisconsin. Students at every UW System school will be paying more for their education for the upcoming academic year. UW Green Bay was one of seven schools which had asked for an additional tuition increase. Fox 11's Andrew Mertens explains why in this Project Education report. Price hikes on tuition costs have UW Green Bay students frustrated. It's only frustrating because I'm going in for education and that's a field where it's required to go to school. Each of the 13 schools within the Universities of Wisconsin system will see a tuition increase of 3.75% for the upcoming academic year. UW Green Bay was one of seven schools which had requested an additional tuition increase. On top of the blanket increase, EWGB undergraduate students will have to pay roughly an additional $104. As a result, students will be paying around $358 more than they did for the 2023-2024 academic year. At the start of every semester, you're like, oh crap, here we go, another payment I gotta figure out in a certain amount of days, and like, if it's increasing, it gets even more stressful, because like, where am I gonna pull this money from? UW Green Bay Chancellor Michael Alexander says the differential is going right back to students more positions in, for example, uh, advising and career services. Here's the breakdown of resident undergraduate tuition and segregated fees across the UW system. UW-Madison students will be paying the most, totaling more than $11,600. Students at UW-Green Bay will pay $8,700, which is the fifth lowest across the entire system. This is the second straight year of tuition increases. This is the first two years that has happened, and I think that's unfortunate for the current group of students who are, in essence, paying the price for the last decade when there was no tuition increases, right? Because it just didn't change for a decade. When it, think about what's happened in inflation in the last 12 years, right? It didn't move an inch in the UW system. Students I spoke with on campus on Monday all agree that getting an education is important, but they say it's been stressful with rising costs. Recently I had to pay a lot out of pocket because I didn't have like financial help for that and I didn't know where, I didn't have the money so I had to make like a payment plan, but I was so stressed the last few weeks because of it. According to UW-Green Bay, fall enrollment for 2023 showed an increase of 7.6% from the year before. The school says the decision to increase costs was needed. To support our growth and to make sure that we're properly serving our students, we had to add this differential. In Green Bay, Andrew Mertens, Fox 11 News. UW-Green Bay says any student having financial troubles can find support and discuss options with their advisor. Yeah, all right, well, so to get right in it, you know, uh, the proposed tuition increases those were voted on and accepted by the Board of Regents last week so can you first talk about that and like what what would that look like here at UW Green Bay uh, so it's part of a plan that we've had uh, starting last year with our students we work with student government uh, that we would uh, that we understood that we were the, one of the only UW schools without a tuition differential um, and we wanted to have a tuition differential to support the efforts we have around student success. Um, uh, people use differentials for different things across the whole UW system. We were the only school really without one. Without um, the, the tuition differ difference, right, you just said? Yeah. Right. Okay. Yep. So um, I guess can you maybe get into more of the why or what, what this will uh, um, help fund more, the, the, the more money that will be coming in from uh, the increase in tuition where that will be kind of allocated towards? Uh, so we don't, so the general increase that the Board of Regents approved, um, we would put in our tuition pool. Uh, this would help to pay faculty. Um, it would help for, uh, uh, for things that support uh, things in the classroom for students. Primarily are the two things, uh, faculty and staff <coughs> um, is what it would do. Um, the yeah, and then um, everything we can do to promote student success as an access institution, that's what we would use it for. Yeah, so again, you, Green Bay was one of the seven that proposed a little more than just the blanket 3.75%. I think you, Green Bay was, what, about $104 per student um, on top of the blanket increase. Can you get more into the, the why there? I know we touched on it just a little bit, but just maybe a little more on, you know, the reasoning behind that. 
Right, so we are one of only, I believe, two UW schools without that differential. So last year, uh, we worked with our student government to understand that we needed more positions in, for example, uh, advising, in career services, um, in, um, um, for mental uh, for, uh, wellness. Um, so we worked together to make sure that we can uh, make sure that we have funding for these kind of things that the students need and want. Um, and that's that's what the differential is. We every university uses that differential differently. We're just using our differential to go directly back to the students and student success. And okay, so just to make sure I have it clear, the differential is more so the differential from like the average tuition across all UW schools, right? That's what you're getting at. Is you know this increase obviously is more you know not just the blanket. 3.75%, that this deferential is more so being used going back directly to, to the school, right? That's what you're getting at? Correct, because every other school does this, we just never have, right? And so with our growth, I think it's really important, right? As, as you know, we're one of the only UW schools on a, we've grown by 17.5% over the last four years. We did all of this without a differential, right? Again, we're one of only two schools without that differential to support our growth and to make sure that we're properly serving our students, we had to add this differential. What we use that differential for was to go back to our students for student success, to make sure that they're having a successful experience while they're here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, I guess on your end, and I was talking with some students earlier today about you know what this could, could mean for them. And obviously some, you know, yeah, they're a little uneasy of, you know, tuition increased last year all across the board, not just Green Bay, you know, it was everywhere. And then this year, it's the same thing. And they might be a little weary of, you know, is that going to, is that going to be a trend that's going to continue? Is this cost going to increase year over year? Um, I guess, what can maybe you speak on that? Or, you know, because there are students, obviously, and I was one who, you know, I had to get financial help from whether it's the government or private loans and that's definitely a scary thing for a lot of people to realize how much debt they're going to be taking on. Right, so no doubt. So I think, uh, first of all, we do not control at UW Green Bay nor does any school in the UW system control the tuition that we charge. Right, so I want to make sure that's really, really clear to all to our, uh, to our students, to anybody in the community. Right, this is controlled at the state level currently by the Board of Regents. Right. Uh, Wisconsin went through about a decade with no tuition increases. Okay, so this is the first two years that has happened, and I think that's unfortunate for the current group of students who are, in essence, paying the price for the last decade when there was no tuition increases, right? Because it just didn't change for a decade. When it, think about what's happened in inflation in the last 12 years, right? It didn't move an inch in the UW system, right? The other thing that I would say that's important for our students to understand is we are still... Uh, amongst the cheapest options for education uh, in the state, right, by far. It right? doesn't mean we're inexpensive. Right? And so we work with our students individually to make sure they have a plan for how they'll pay uh, for their education, right, and to make sure that they're seeing on the back end of that what that causes for them, as in your case, right, having a degree, I'm sure has helped you in your, in your career, right? You're making a higher wage than you might have had you not had that degree. Um, I guess for looking to the future, like you said, the Board of Regents is what controls what tuition is, but I guess maybe in your end, do you foresee more increases um, in the near future? I mean, like you said, yeah, we went 10 years without increases, but here we are with, you know, inflation and rising prices of everything else and kind of forcing, forcing the decision now, I would say, right, to increase costs now, but do you see that happening again here? future? I can't comment on it. I'll, I'll be honest with you. I, I, I don't know. I mean, I really don't. And I think this is, um, I think this is the system that we live under, right? Which is that it, the, 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 each individual institution does not control their price, right? It is controlled externally, right? And so I think this is, this is the system that we have. And so it's important for that to be known, right? It's not UW Green Bay that is necessarily raising the tuition, right? It is, I, I'm not saying I agree or disagree with what the Regents did, right? That's the, the Regents did their job, right? Which is to look at the situation and say, we need to raise tuition. Um, and we, as you know, move the 3.75 like everybody else. Yeah. So, again, you're part of what you were tying with the, um, the tuition, the differential, was the, the growth that you've 
seeing here. So obviously that would be all around the board positive, right? You're, even though you know this, this tuition is rising a little bit, but that there, there's, it's still positive because you you have more students coming, and therefore I believe what one of the some of the reasoning you want to hire new staff is that correct, right? Or, correct. So I think as an access institution, uh, we owe it to our students to make sure that they're getting a great experience here, right? And uh, that's important, right? That we reinvest in them, right? We want to make sure that anyone who comes to Green Bay. Right, is getting an experience where they know they're meeting their educational goals. Right, that's really, really key for what we're doing. Um, and so, yes, that's a way for us to invest back in that student experience. Yeah. Um, I guess for for students that might look at this, obviously a little worried again, like many that I talked to today. You know, when they anytime they see price increase, that's probably going to raise some alarms. But is there anything you want to say to kind of I don't know if it's to ease their mind or yeah, obviously everyone's financial situation is different from the person next to them. But, you know, there are obviously, yes, there are ways to, you know, combat that, whether that's through um, the university itself, talking with someone with, you know, loan opportunities or anything like that, right? Right. So for sure. So what I would say most important thing for our students to understand is if they feel like they're having financial difficulty to raise their hand, tell their advisor right away that this is the case, and there are people here at the university you could talk to to help get advice and possibly support for how to make sure that you're, that you're able to stay in school, um, and that again, you're meeting your educational goal. Really important, um, that, that, that's why we are here, right? That's, that's really, really key, uh, that we don't want a student to have to drop out due to financial reasons. Yeah, yeah. Um, Chancellor Alexander, um, would you, do you have anything else you wanted to add that I haven't asked already? I know we've kind of touched on the kind of the crux of it all, but. I think the one thing I would just say just um, that's important is um, uh, we are in a unique situation uh, with our growth of 17.5% over the last four years, and we know what's happened in the last four years, right? So this, it, it, it is unfortunate um, that the, the cost of education continues to rise, but it, it has to rise to some degree. Our expenses have also continued to go up at an equivalent rate, right, or higher, much higher than 3.75%, right? So to some degree, we have to be able to keep up with our growth and make sure our students are getting the services that they need to be successful. And um, I'm sorry, what was some of those, those data points you had just mentioned there over the last four years, 17 and a half percent, right? Correct. Yeah. Okay, just wanted to make yeah. sure that's and overall student growth. Overall student growth. growth. Seven and a half percent in the last year alone. Seven, yeah, wow. wow. Right, so I think this is important for people to understand, right? It, it puts us in a unique situation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's just specifically this campus, or is it the whole year? The all, whole, all of it. All okay, together. all right, good. All I, I, the good thing I clarified. We do it all as one. That's also very important. Yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah, we do yes. not do these as separate entities. Mm -hmm. We are all, right, Manitowoc, Marinette, Sheboygan, yeah. Green Bay, all one. Just so happens some students go to the classes at the branch campuses. Yes. Yep. Okay. Yep, yep. But those are all UW Green Bay students. Mm -hmm. We count them all together. 